get on blurry camera. Come on, this camera sucks at focusing. Hi guys! So today I am at The Signal. I think I told you guys that I'm going to be doing videos with them and I'm super excited. But we're visiting them today to talk about some stuff. But we're actually in the warehouse and it made me think about whipping out my camera because dude, look at how big this space is. I guess they were saying they used to like, what did you, wait, what used to happen in here? They stored and printed the newspapers? Yeah, the, yeah, the, we printed the newspaper right here. There was this giant printing press but now it's printed in Ventura. <gasps> and are you allowed to, are we allowed to say that a certain show films here? Yeah, sure. What maybe, show is it? Maybe inside NCIS and NC, NCIS LA every night. <gasps> so LL Cool J drops by the signal sometimes? All the time. No, wow. All the time. <laughs> that is ex <laughs> every day he just drops by to say hello. It's very exciting. This is really big, but it's cold out here because obviously they're not pumping the heater into an empty room. Oil, fountain solution, solvent means nothing to me, but <laughs> no. anyone now. yeah, nothing to anyone anymore. So, um, yeah, I guess we'll vlog if there's something else exciting I want to show you guys like this room. Okay. Ooh, what is all this? So I don't know what this is. <laughs> something to do with distribution. <laughs> yeah, at so, some point, someone in the long history of newspapers used this to uh -huh. distribute the newspaper, but that's long gone. Uh, now we do all sorts they've, of They've torn stuff. everything off the wall except for the puppy poster oh, over there. There is a pup, wait. Because who doesn't love puppies? Well, yeah, exactly. Let's see if the camera will focus on the puppy poster. Oh, this zoom is horrible. See that, guys? Dalmatian puppies. Okay, zooming back out because they're leaving me now. Look at that. Nobody cares about waiting for me. She can fend for herself. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, I gotta go inside now. I'm cold. I actually may start crying right now. Glad you're enjoying that in and out. I'm gonna punch you. But you're really cute on camera, especially. especially. That I already know. How sad do I look on a scale of 1 to 10? Uh, so if you watched yesterday's vlog, you know that I am cutting gluten for two weeks to see how I feel. They say that if you have an intolerance to it, it's pretty noticeable and you feel the difference pretty fast. So, Are you sure? How much research did you do on this? How much? <laughs> did you do research? <laughs> what do I have to do to get you? <laughs> Zero research. None. So, uh, and then I thought, oh, I can have french fries, but there are sites that say avoid french fries, too, so, um, which kind of makes perfect sense, but I was like, maybe I can get some french fries. So, um, yeah, I am a couple days in, two days in, so 12 more days to go. <laughs> but we're gonna go to Whole Foods after this, I think, and I'm gonna get some food there, I think. I don't know. So, yeah, Dan and I just left the signal. It was a really good meeting over there. I love them over there. They're so nice. You'll see them tomorrow because we're filming with them tomorrow at the mall. So, you guys will get to see them. We're filming like fun Valentine's Day videos. So, I'm really excited for that. Um, he's going to eat his burger. And I guess I will I'm see you. They put. Just eat it. Just don't. I asked for whole grill onions. Just but eat they put raw onions. It's so good. I, like that in a long time. I need you to just eat fast, okay? So I can get out of here before my stomach explodes. The smell is overwhelming. It is so good. I gotta go. Hi guys! So my mom and I came down to LA today to the Dream Center and it was really cool because I'm allowed to say what we were doing, right? Okay, so it was really cool because we got to meet with some of the girls on the human trafficking floor here, and my mom, hello mommy, hello. gave away um, some of her blankets, which I told you guys you'll hear about soon, and then it was really cool because <laughs> Soul Society gave gift cards to give to the girls, so all the girls got new shoes, and so we went to Danice's Bible study before. Danice, she looks so beautiful. Oh, you're so sweet. It's the truth. <laughs> so she led a Bible study, and she actually has a really amazing blog. I think I've told you guys about it before. I've vlogged with you before, haven't I? Nope. <gasps> I never have. So why don't you tell them uh, what your blog is, like www. DannyStorado.com. DannyStorado.com. And it's daily faith devotions, Bible studies, and applying God's Word to your life. Awesome. And she's really amazing too because she really walks it all out. She's down here at the Dream Center. You're here full time, right? 
Two days a week because I live in Santa Clarita. Two days a week because she lives out in Santa Clarita. But they really, she really walks it out, her and her family. So you'll have to check her blog out because I know <laughs> it's doing, so awkward when I turn the camera. It's so awkward. I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> it's like the running joke when I turn it on friends. It's like it'll turn to them. And they're like, hi, what do yeah. I do? But, but I love the Dream Center. You have to tell them www.dreamcenter.org. Yes. Dreamcenter.org is their website. Amazing place. To over 200 ministries. Amazing. Reaching out to people. Uh, they have uh, residential programs, outreach programs yeah. for homeless families, um, people in need of every kind, taking every social injustice we have and finding a way to fill that need. Yeah, it's really, really amazing. Actually, what made me whip out my camera was because we're trying to find my sisters because uh, Mel, she, or you guys might know her as Michelle, she, ooh, there's Marcus. Oh, hi, Marcus. Hey. Hello. So she does dance, like she does choreographed dances and stuff down here, but we were trying to find them and we wandered into this chapel. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. I have to show them. Like you said, this is really old, right? Yes, yes. Like really old. It used to be the old Queen of Angels Hospital. Mm. And this is actually the Catholic chapel <coughs> that was in the hospital. And now it's the Dream Center. Yeah. Housing the, the um, people that are in recovery. We have a men's home that for people in recovery, women's home, human trafficking, like you said. Uh, we have a family floor for homeless families. Uh, we have an emancipation home. We have a teen discipleship home. Um, these are all residential programs. And then we distribute over a million pounds of food. That's crazy. Every month. It's so, crazy. They do so, yeah. amazing stuff. And we're just in like a little chapel right now in the building, but it is huge. The property is huge. So um, I'll bring you guys back next time I'm down here, but we're gonna go find the girls now because it's freezing. So, <laughs> <sighs> okay, we're walking through the halls of the Dream Center trying to find my siblings. I don't know where they are. Persistence, it's challenges, sad. or this what makes what life tested. interesting. Overcoming them is what makes life meaningful. Can you read it to me and then that yes. way I might have a better understanding. On the seventh it. floor from the main entrance. Yeah, that's where we're at. So I thought, we on the seventh floor. This is really strange. We can't find them anywhere. We're oh. playing hide and seek. And, and the Dream Center is like a maze. I mean, there's just, the property is so big. You're so nice for helping us find them. We'd be lost, we'd be gone. Okay, hopefully we'll find them soon. Whoosh. Good night. Good night, Bowser says good night. He's already sleeping. Oh, oh maybe not. You woke good me night. up. So he's sleeping on my pants over there. <laughs> <laughs>